factor long. How to solve this exponential problem? This is t power 3 equals 1. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, I can raise this 1 to the power of 3 because 1 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 1. And don't forget the fact that we have power 3 here. So we want this exponent to be the same. So from here, I can move this over here. I have t to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. And this equals 0. Now, we are going to expand this. And for us to achieve that, we apply this identity. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b power 2. And in this case, our a is t, while our b is 1. So let's apply this identity. So we are going to have t minus 1 times t squared plus t times 1 plus 1 power 2, and this equals 0. Right? So from here, I'll have t minus 1 times t squared plus t times 1 is t plus 1 power 2 is 1, and this equals 0. So I can equate each of these to 0. I work t minus 1 equals 0. I also have t squared plus t plus 1 equals 0. Now, if t minus 1 equals 0, I can solve for t by moving this negative 1 over here. I will have t equals 1. So that is my t1, my first solution. Now, if you observe, we have a quadratic equation here because the exponent here is 2. And in solving this quadratic equation, there are methods that we are going to use. We have completing the squares method, formula method, factorization method, but this is not factorizable. So let's make use of the formula method. And the formula, we are going to rep t in respect to t. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. Now we are going to find out the values of a, b, and c using this equation. So for us to achieve that, let's consider this general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If you want to write it in terms of t, you have at squared plus bt plus c equals 0. Now, to find the value of a, our a is the equation of t squared, which is 1. B is the equation of t, which is 1. C is the constant here, which is 1. So, I'll simply have my t equals negative b. My b is 1, so I'm going to have negative 1. Plus a minus square root of b squared of 1 power 2. Minus 4 times a, that is 1 times c. This c is 1. And this is divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I'll have t equals negative 1 plus a minus square root of 1 raised to the power of t is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1. That is 4. Divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals this is negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 is negative 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 1 
plus or minus this we can express it as square root of negative 1 times square root of 3 divided by 2 and when once you have square root of negative 1 here this is iota the major number i so we have t equals negative 1 plus or minus i d iota here then square root of 3 divided by 2 so from here I can have my t equals negative 1 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 2 I can factor out 1 over 2 from here of t equals 1 divided by 2 of negative 1 plus or minus i root 3 Now this will give us two complex values. I can have t2 because we already have our t1. This is 1 over 2 of negative 1 plus i root 3. And also, I can have my t3. This equals 1 over 2 of negative 1 minus i times root 3. So these are the two complex values. And we have one real value, which is one. Now, if you want to check, it's very simple. You substitute this value for t, which is one. Record your problem. This is t power three equals one. So you insert this value for t, we have 1 power 3, is it the same thing as 1? And 1 raised to the power of 3 is 1, which equals 1. In fact, remember, 1 raised to the power of any number is 1. So this shows that the answer is correct. Now to glance through this, what you need to know is that you need to raise this value to the power of 3 because it is obvious that 1 power 3 is the same thing as 1. From there, you bring it over here. The exponents are not the same. You can expand using this identity. So you insert these values for a and b using the identity. Now from there, you can formulate two different equations. You equate this to 0. You also equate this to 0. You formulate two different equations. Solving the first one, which is a linear equation, will give you the real value, which is 1. And this will give you complex values because it's a quadratic equation, it's not factorizable. So you have complex values for t. Don't forget the value of your a, b, and c can be gotten from this equation. So this is how you solve it, and we are going to arrive at these particular values. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.